Hey guys, this is uh, Travis with uh, Beans Pyro. I uh, wanted to do a video um, real quick about the uh, Firewire Initiators. Um, just got these in the mail uh, yesterday actually. Um, got six boxes. Uh, thank you Jeff at MJG Technologies for uh, getting these to me. I, uh, I ordered these as well as um, some seminal wire thousand foot of uh, of that. I've got a show coming up here around New Year's that I'm going to be doing and figured it'd be a good time to test out these uh, Firewire initiators um, but I am going to do some preliminary testing with these. Go ahead and open up the box for you so you can take a look and see what we got. As I said I got six boxes, um, 30 per box um, I bought the the 10 foot versions of these. Um, everything looks good with them. Match head looks. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but match head looks pretty good. Let me pull this back. Hang on a second. Set the camera down for a second. There we go. Match head looks really good. Um, I know there were some earlier problems uh, with these when I was watching some earlier videos um, but it appears that Jeff has and Jeff and his team have uh, kind of perfected these um, so what I'm gonna do um, I've got my Cobra system charging right now I'm using the lipo batteries 14.8 uh, volt lipo batteries and what I'm going to do is, I know on the Cobra site it says when you use the 14.8 uh, volt LiPo batteries, you can get, actually I'll go in here while it's, keep the video going. Um, I know they recommend, they say that you can shoot up to 8 E matches in parallel um, per Q. Um, I'm going to test that with these electric matches or firewire initiators, excuse me. I um, hope the ATF isn't watching. Um, I'm going to be testing those, uh, like I said, using parallel wiring. I'm, I will test series wiring later, uh, but not right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these hooked up to the system outside. Um, and what I will have are 10, or, excuse me, 8 Firewire initiators plugged into Q1, all of them being 10 foot each, and I'm going to see if the Cobra system will fire all 8 um, at the same time off one Q uh, to see if it's similar to what Cobra says for the E-matches. Um, and then I'll do some more testing after that. But uh, let me go get that set up and then I will uh, continue the video in just a little while. Alright guys, we are uh, outside. I'm getting everything hooked up to the uh, Cobra, the AT&M. Uh, like I said with the LiPo battery. Uh, throw some images up on the screen so you can kind of see what how I've wired this and how I've got it configured. Uh, this is just going to be a fairly simple test. I've just got the initiators taped down using painter's tape because that's all I had. Um, painter's tape to hold them down to a piece of visco, which you can see. I just have visco going into each of those and have those taped down. Um, I will have eight of them wired back. Each wire is 10 foot, like I said in the earlier video. Um, here we go, they're all twisted twisted pairs or twisted together. Camera probably won't focus, but you get the idea. You know how to wire these things up. Um, so I'm going to put these into Q1. Then I'm going to go get my uh, remote and I will test continuity in the next video. And you'll be able to um, see them fire. So um, I'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, I'm going to arm the system. We are armed. I will press uh, 
Q1 here in just a second. I'm going to set the GoPro down next to these, kind of hold it here, and I will press Q1 in three, two, one. Alright guys, uh, if you just watch that video, you'll see that the uh, Firewire initiators were, um, for lack of better terms, pretty badass. Um, just from response time, obviously they are going to be faster than the Talons are, um, by a very little bit, but um, just by response time, man, the, every eight of these went off perfectly. Um, now, I did notice that the, let's see this first one here. The Visco did not burn, um, which I don't know, maybe I didn't put the, uh, the Visco in far enough, maybe it's just a bad piece, um, kind of get a close up of that, um, but the initiator did definitely burn, um, I don't know if you can see in there or not, let me pull that back real quick so we can get a closer look. There we go. It uh, it looks like it burnt. Um, I mean, I can go back to the video and check a uh, slow mo, which I'll do here in just a second. Um, number two is uh, definitely gone. Number three is definitely gone. Number four is definitely gone. Five. Five is gone, six is gone, seven is gone, and it looks like number eight over here on the side is was the same thing as number one. Um, still have a piece of visco left. Let me flip this around. That doesn't look like it. I mean, it caught. You can definitely see it did catch. It just didn't uh, ignite. I don't know if that was just a uh, visco fuse problem um, but you can definitely see the igniter is black on the inside it definitely did light um, as did the first one again that could just be a piece of visco that's the problem um, but all in all I'm, I'm pretty happy with it again this is firing eight um, with all 10 foot leads on them all off of one single Q using a lipo battery on the Cobra um, my next test what I'd like to do is still do eight of these again um, but instead of 10 foot leads I'd like to simulate using a span across 75 feet of eight of these spread out evenly or roughly evenly evenly all right guys uh, if you're uh, still tuned into the video uh, you've seen that the Cobra system fired all eight firewire initiators uh, perfectly it did great and that was with a LiPo battery. Um, I'm on version 3, 3.0.3, I believe is the latest. Um, and like I said, the Firewire initiators from MJG Technologies, um, <clears throat> the E-Match alternative, if you will. Um, these have 10-foot uh, leads on them, and they, they worked great. Um, so now what I want to do is I kind of drew up a little sketch here. Uh, so you can kind of understand it. Um, but what I want to do is, because the module can fire 8 uh, with no problem with 10 foot leads, I want to simulate spanning a distance, which you can kind of see here on this, from point over here to point over here. What I'm simulating is this distance across is 75 feet. And what I want to do is I want to pretend that there is one module in the middle, and I'm going to run a some scab wire to each of these colored dots um, ranging in length from 30 feet to 10, 20 feet to 10 feet and E-match is just the standard length of the firewire initiator in this case it would be 10 feet so uh, for the people who are bad at math I'm gonna have a 10 foot here I'm gonna have 20 feet here because I'm gonna have 10 foot of the initiator and 10 feet of wire so if you add them together that'd be 20 uh, this is just the length of the scab wire, and then plus you'll have to add an extra 10 for the firewire initiator. 
um, and same down here. So what I'm trying to simulate again is having one module fire eight different uh, products across 75 feet and I want to make sure that the initiators will still fire using uh, roughly uh, let's see about a hundred feet of cable uh, actually a little bit more than that hundred feet of uh, scab wire everything's still going to be wired in parallel um, I'm expecting this not to work um, I'm expecting some of them to ignite now in a perfect world yes you would have a module in each of these positions or maybe um, one in between so two of these hooked to each module but for the people who can't afford 15 or 20 different modules in their shows and they like to use the maximum that Cobra allows for um, this will be a test more for you guys um, in my show here I will be uh, using four different modules across the front um, but again I want to simulate this because if it works then that means I have more cues available for next shows um, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm doing and I'm going to go ahead and get all of these wired up using the Seminole wire um, 22 gauge I believe um, which I think it is 20 gauge or 22 gauge a um, thousand foot and this was from MJG technologies again they are definitely the cheapest for uh, for wire by far including shipping um, trust me I've, I've done my research so um, they are definitely the cheapest uh, so big shout out to Jeff and his team over there MJG um, so let me go ahead and get all this wired up for you and hooked up to my system and then I will uh, update the video here shortly alright guys um, little update it's getting dark outside which you kind of can't see which is kind of ironic um, what I'm doing here is like I explained just a minute ago is I'm taking different lengths of scab wire and connecting them to the firewire initiators again each initiator is 10 feet in length and so I'm taking six different lengths well I guess three different lengths um, six total and then I'm also taking two of the 10 foot initiators with no scab wire on them and if this were spread out it would simulate 75 feet across one module in the center connected to eight different products across the board so you're running scab wire to connect the differences um, or 80 feet or however far you can get it um, and so kind of what I did is did here is I just took the 10 foot initiator and as you can see from the little tag here, it's, this is 30 feet of the seminal scab wire. So this bundle right here is 40 feet. This bundle right here is another 40 feet. This one would be 30. This one would be 30. And then those two over there would be 20 apiece. And then the fire wire initiators themselves are 10. So we got 10, 20, 30, and 40 foot lengths. And I'm going to go outside, hook these up to the module, and see if all eight ignite. If they do, that's absolutely awesome. If they don't, um, we'll see how many did, and uh, evaluate and get our results after that. All right, guys, uh, about ready to uh, shoot these things off. I've got a light out here because it is obviously dark outside, and I'm impatient, and I like doing this stuff, so I want to make sure that this will work. So uh, hopefully you can hear me. There's a football game gone. Fo excuse me, football game going on over there. Um, so hopefully the audio doesn't uh, override my voice. Again, just to uh, kind of go over. I know it's a combobulated mess back here, but I've got uh, scab wire of different lengths: 40, 30, 20, um, and then the regular initiator at 10 feet different lengths um, trying to simulate eight different positions using one module spanning across I don't know let's say 80 feet 100 feet whatever it would be um, let me get out of the light here and you can kind of see this time around I'm not using the uh, visco fuse I actually ran out so I just have them sitting against the wood um, we'll be able to see uh, if all of them did ignite, um, which I moved them out of the black areas from the last one, so 
um, hopefully we can uh, see those okay I just have them taped down to a board all right so I just turned off the light sorry about that it kind of hard to do with one hand holding a camera so uh, all right I'm going to sit down here I've got everything armed channel one ready to go Q1 modules ready to go and I'm going to sit right here and I will also do a slow motion video of this when we are done so I'm going to fire Q1 all eight igniters hopefully in three two one All right, guys, I uh, just got done shooting all eight cues uh, with about, let's say, 100 feet of scab wire or so, uh, which if you've been watching the, this video, you'll understand what's going on. I put my light next to us so we can kind of see what happened. Um, it appears that every single igniter ignited, um, which is great. Um, I was not anticipating all of all eight of them igniting, uh, especially with this amount of scab wire and wired in parallel. Um, but they actually did ignite. Um, I will shoot a slow mo video, or I will show the slow mo video just to confirm that. Um, but as I stated earlier, that's excellent for people who can't afford. 15 or 16 or however many modules you would have and uh, just to shoot mines or especially to pyro musicals um, this will really allow you to expand your system a little bit and use it to its fullest capabilities and save a little bit of money um, just kind of to follow up I know the igniters are kind of pricey um, but that's to be expected when they're uh, I guess kind of the first ones on the market if you will um, I definitely, after doing this testing, uh, definitely like them. They're easy. Um, Jeff at MJG has done a great job. Um, the ends are capped uh, when they come to you. Uh, Pre-cut. They're easy to pull apart to attach to scab wire or what have you. Um, excellent quality. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, got a good price on these. Again, I bought the 10-foot ones, so they are the more expensive um, but I think they offer a three foot or so um, I went through and did an extensive cost analysis between talons and uh, these JTEC igniters um, and yes talons are a little bit cheaper um, but with in the grand scheme of things um, quality uh, these definitely have a higher quality so you are going to pay a little bit higher price uh, but they're definitely worth it. So I hope this video was informative um, and everyone learned something from it. Um, I'm sorry it's not the most professional, but um, I hope it gets the point across. If anyone has any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, make sure you like the video and you also share it. And go to uh, my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash beanspyro. That's B-E-A-N-S-P-Y-R-O. Um, Alright, thanks guys. Appreciate it.